why aren't I calling it the Lord's Supper? Why am I calling it breaking bread? Well, you know, the, the phrase, the Lord's Supper, only appears one time in the Bible. One time in the Bible, and here it is, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. When he says here, uh, verse, let me just find it there. Verse 20, when you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. Now, why don't I think, why don't I call it the Lord's Supper? Why do I call it breaking of bread? Well, I don't believe that the Lord's Supper is what we commonly know as the Lord's Supper or communion. I believe it's breaking of bread and breaking of bread was something that was done at the Lord's Supper. Because when you see in this passage here, what is the Lord's Supper? He says, now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. So first of all, there was divisions happening in the church. You know, divisions in what they believe, heresies, you know, false doctrine. And not only that, it says here, uh, you know, when you come together therefore into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. So what do I believe the Lord's Supper is? In this passage, I believe it's the fact that they were eating together. But the reason why it's called the Lord's Supper is because they were eating together in unity. There wasn't the contention. There, there, was, there wasn't divisions among them. There wasn't strife. They were coming together as we are tonight, eating uh, in unity. And not only eating in unity of doctrine, but actually eating together, right? Because we see there in uh, verse 21, for in eating, everyone taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunken. So they weren't waiting to actually come together to eat. People were eating first, and then when other people came, there wasn't any food left. So what I believe the Lord's Supper actually is, it's when the body of Christ, the church, comes together to eat uh, in unity and also together. So when we read verse 20, the Bible's not saying there that when you come together, don't eat the Lord's Supper, because that's one way you could read it, right? When you therefore come in, when you, when you come together therefore into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. Some people read that verse and say, well, when you come together, the purpose is not to eat the Lord's Supper. What I believe verse 20 is saying there is when the Corinthian church was coming together, when ye come therefore into one place, therefore referring to the heresies and the divisions, he's saying you're not eating the supper that the Lord intended. Because you're meant to be eating a supper in unity, together, waiting for one another. And that's what I believe the Lord's Supper is. It's actually eating together. And that's why he's emphasizing, you know, you eat together, you're having a meal together. That sort of thing. That's what the Lord's Supper is. But what is breaking of bread? Well, when we look in, in the New Testament, when Jesus was eating supper with his disciples, the breaking of bread was an ordinance that he did during the Lord's Supper. Uh, something that he did while they were eating, wasn't it? So this is why I, I thought this was something that we should do as a church, that when we break bread together, it's when we eat together. We have the Lord's Supper together. And, you know, technically every Sunday we have Lord's Supper together, isn't it? Because every Sunday we come together, we eat together, we eat in unity. We're having the Lord's Supper and sometimes we're going to break bread and remember the broken body, body and uh, shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I thought Easter would be a great time to do that. That's why it's funny that Kevin was asking me outside. You know, Easter is a a time where generally people remember what Jesus has done for them. And I was thinking, you know what? It is a time when people do it. And I said to Kevin, yeah, I'm going to be teaching on that topic very soon. But he didn't know that I was going to be teaching on it tonight. So that's what I believe uh, the Lord's Supper is. You know, technically we eat the Lord's Supper every week. We're eating the Lord's Supper tonight, but tonight also we're going to break bread um, to remember what Jesus has done for us. And I think Easter is a great time to do that.